You guys, you know I'm, I'm constantly reminding you of the same things over and over again. You don't want to go into the open with a, a bias. You don't want to feel ever allow yourself to feel like today is going to be a short day or today is going to be a long day. We can't know that. You can't predict what the first bar is going to be. So a lot of things depend on what that first bar is going to be. And in some cases, it depends on what the first few bars are going to going to going to be or do. And so the only thing you can do is get a head start on where your stocks are likely to be opening. All right. In relationship to their 200 period moving averages or relationship to their fabulous fours. That's the only thing you can do pre open. There's no need to be checking um, news. Uh, what companies are coming out? We don't do that. We don't need that. All right, because all that does is increase your odds, decrease the odds that you're going to lean into one side or the other with a strong bias. And the interesting thing about having a bias is that we naturally give more credence, more importance to our own personal biases than we do to the reality in our faces. So when the reality conflicts with your bias, you actually choose the bias over what the reality is telling you. That reality becomes second rate to someone who has a bias. And this is the problem that millions of traders face. It's what forces a trader to stay in a losing trade longer than they should. Because the reality of the loss is not as important as the bias that they're still holding on to. It's the reason behind a trader experiencing losses greater than they should because they're trading their biases instead of trading the reality that's in their faces. You don't need a bias to be a successful trader. Please keep this in mind. The general public generally believes that you must have a bias. That is why many people are frequently asking, what do you think about the markets this year? What do you think the market's going to do this year? They're really asking you what's your bias. The general public believes that in order to be successful, you have to know the future. When in fact, we know that the future cannot be known. That the only thing you can do is read the now, which is another way of saying the only thing you can do is deal with the reality of the moment. You can be sure of the reality of the moment. But once you have a bias, that bias covers up the reality of the moment. It makes you blind to the reality of the moment. And so you begin trading your bias versus trading the reality of the moment. This is something that you have to prevent yourself from doing. No biases. No leaning to one side, buy, or the other side, short, before the open. We play the reality that gets presented to us at the moment without a bias. You got it?